Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. We've got a video today featuring the very popular Three Bros and a Card Store baseball card company. Once again, we've opened this before to very mixed reviews. Not this particular product. We've opened the wax boxes. We opened some of their packs that are sold at Cracker Barrel and stuff like that and Sheets gas stations. But this is a vintage starter kit. It was only $15, which isn't a bad price whatsoever. It says each box contains never opened vintage packs. It's the official vintage starter kit. Kit we picked this up at a Florida card store when we we're down there, Orlando Sports Cards, and we're going to open this up right now because why not? Let's check it out. Three Bros in a Card Store makes its return. Here's what we have. There's a bunch of older packs. Now I'll see subscription boxes, and a lot of subscription boxes will have half of the amount of packs, and they'll be like two to three times the price. So I think this was actually a pretty good price for all these packs. Yeah, they're all probably going to be junk era packs, but let's go ahead and have some fun, open some packs, and take a walk down Nostalgia Lane. We'll start off with the Topps Big Pack. These used to be a quarter back in the day. I used to buy these as a kid. This is the 1988 version. We've got Mark Bailey. Man, look at that uh, flow there leading things off. Don Mattingly, not too bad. Donnie Baseball, there's Jody Reed. And how many packs do you get is what I'm wondering for $15. Well, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. If you count the rack pack as three, that's like 31 packs. So 29 to 30 packs, pretty good price right there for sure. $15 for all this. Here's a Skybox pack. It's an NBA all right, I'll take this. NBA looking for Michael Jordan. I actually picked up a couple of Jordan cards, I think, from this set. I used to buy boxes of this every now and then for $5 for an entire wax box. There's David Robinson. And unfortunately, John Stockton, Hall of Famer. There's a couple names. See, I know a little bit about basketball. Here's the top sticker, yearbook sticker card pack. For a quarterback in the day, they used to sell an album. that actually had gum in it coming out of there there's Andre Dawson I used to have some of these in my collection as well there's Dave Winfield and we have a checklist Ozzy Virgil and Jack Clark there's also stickers on the back you can peel off if you want to next up we've got Desert Storm in here I never bought any Desert Storm cards these came out circa 1991 there's General Colin Powell which would have been I guess one of the more sought after cards then him and Norman Storm and Norman Schwarzkopf so I was never really into those cards. Next up, we've got Sport Flix, a $3 pack. This, the year on this, I think, is this going to be like $89? Let's check it out. Let's see what we have in this next one. $15, I think, pretty good. This is, uh, Sport Flix is tough for me to tell the design. It is, eight, actually, that's 86 That's actually really nice. 86 good to have a chance of Barry Bonds. Rookie card in there. There's Don Mattingly. We've got a TriStar card with... Gary Carter and Steve Garvey on it. Don Mattingly right there. A little Sport Flix Did You Know trivia cards. And who else do we have? We got Joaquin Andujar. And there is Willie McGee, it looks like, as the last card. Just a couple cards per pack there. Here we have a, uh, you know, you know what this is, National Trading Card Day. You can find autographs in here. I think, was it two years ago when they did National Trading Card Day? It was multi-sport. And this is, unfortunately, all racing folks, which I don't know anything about racing. So, I don't know. Let me check it one more time. Lewis Hamilton, I guess, is a big one, right? So, that one, I guess I should put aside. He's a big name. But I don't know the other guys. Moving on to the next one, we've got a hockey pack. So, multi-sport pack right here. Let's see if we can find a Mario Lemieux. The year on this it looks to be 1990 to 1991. There's Marc Messier. Which is a good card. I do know some of the players. Patrick Wall is a good one. Wayne Gretzky. Not too bad right there. And that's all that I can recognize from that one. Here's an 88 tops pack. Looking for a Hall of Famer Tom Glavin's rookie card. Piece of gum. I'm not going to bother eating that. Let's see what we have. By the way, if you want to pick one of these up, there's Lee Smith. He's a Hall of Famer. Wade Boggs, another Hall of Famer. You can head to Orlando Sports Cards. They had a whole bunch of them. Gary Carter, three Hall of Famers in the pack. Not too shabby. There's Kirk Gibson with Alan Trammell. So the four Hall of Famers, if you include that Alan Trammell. Kevin Bass and Billy Hatcher there with Doug Jones to wrap that one up. Next up, we've got 
an 88 Leaf baseball pack. Another 88 pack. 88 was one of the weak years for cards. One of the weakest years for cards during the Junk Wax era. 89, you've got some really nice rookies in there with Ken Griffey Jr., Craig Biggio, Randy Johnson, Gary Sheffield and the like. Here is 91 Ultra. 87, you got guys like Barry Bonds in that in those sets with Bo Jackson, Barry Larkin. 91 is another weak year for rookie cards in the Junk Wax era. There's almost nobody notable in the 91 Ultra set in terms of rookies. And, I mean, you can get some Hall of Famers and stuff. Next up, we've got a, what is this, soccer cards. I have no idea what we're going to find in this. Soccer cards, let's see if I recognize any of these names at all. So far, nothing is ringing a bell whatsoever. Didn't realize a single one of those. We've got 1993 Football Series 2. I like the 93 Tops design. Let's see if we can find a couple Hall of Famers in this. 93 Tops. Steve Bono right there. And Marcus Allen. Decent card right there. There's a gold card in every pack. Here we have a... It's tough to read. That gold. It's a John Gesick. And unfortunately no massive names in there. Here's a big cello pack. It's going to be once again 88. 88 Don Russ. A 99 cent pack back in the day. Nowadays you probably pay, I don't know, 50 cents for one of these. Maybe the flea market. There's Big Mac, Mark McGuire. I used to like the cello packs from 89 Don Russ. I used to love the Grand Slammer cards that they put in those. Mike Campbell, Jody Reed, rookie cards. There's Will the Thrill Clark, Burt Bly 11, who's a Hall of Famer. And let's see what else do we have. Will Clark again, double Will Clark pack. John Crock, Jimmy Key. About halfway through the box now. Interested to see what that rack pack is going to be. Next up, we have a Canadian football. Man, going pretty obscure right here. Canadian Football League. I don't know if any of you will even recognize any of these players. Some of them may have crossed over. So far, I haven't heard of any of these guys. But again, I don't know much about football whatsoever. Really basic, boring design. Very 90s design. And next, we've got a finish line. 1993. Maybe there'll be a Dale Earnhardt in here. 93 finish line. A big old cello pack right there. Man, who's this guy? Looks like he might be a former great. It's now retired. I have no idea. Who is Jerry Haas? Let's see if there's a single name I recognize. I bet you there won't be. Earnhardt, Earnhardt's the only one I could think of that could possibly be in here. Yep, didn't recognize a single one yet. And I have no idea who any of those guys are. Here's Dick Tracy. I think, um, I feel like my dad may have taken me to this movie and then we ended up walking out. Either that or Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I think one of them was maybe a little too racy with the busty woman in it. I can't remember, but I would have been like eight years old. I do not remember this movie at all. But I remember Dick Tracy was a big thing. And back then, they used to make some cards, I guess, for movies. I guess Dick Tracy may have been a pretty popular movie amongst, you know, folks that were collecting cards at the time if they are going to make a whole set about it. Here's Pro Set NHL Platinum Edition. Again, looking for Mario Lemieux or... Wayne Gretzky, maybe Yarmer Yager. There's Paul Coffey on the back. Former. All right. <laughs> I'm just, I have no idea who any of these guys are. So the names are on the back, but not on the front. So I'll just look at the backs and see if I can recognize any names. I recognize the Paul Coffey. That's about it. We've got another 88 Donruss pack in there. Three 88 Donruss relief cards have shown up in this. And also an 88 top. So a lot of 88. There's Jose Canseco. And Billy Ripken. Unfortunately, I don't think there's going to be an 89 Fleer pack in here. It doesn't look like it to go after the Ripken F face card. Here's a quarterback challenge, which, man, they don't really give you too many cards in this, but same exact card there, Cajun Collection twice. Hmm, interesting. Bubby Brister, I guess. And here is a Roger Staubach. Next, Stadium Club Baseball, 1993, a $4 pack at one point. That's not a $4 pack anymore. You can probably get a whole box of these again for maybe around $20. So 
I mean, you're probably looking at maybe 75 cents, 50 cents a pack is what the what these should be. 93 Stadium Club doesn't have many of the good rookies in it. you got to go to 93 Bowman if you want to track down the really good rookies. And Derek Jeter, I don't believe, has a Stadium Club card. I think he's in the Stadium Club Murphy set, which isn't a one of these uh, Series 1, 2, or 3 releases. There's Jeff Bagwell, at least. Jeff Ennis. Next pack is Super Series Truck Cards. Man, I didn't realize they made so many non-baseball cards. I was, I guess, kind of sheltered and only ever did baseball cards, but I don't think any of my card stores ever card stores ever did these racing cards. But there's racing cards here as well. And uh, I don't maybe Terry Labonte that mm, kind of rings a bell, but the others I'm not sure about. Look at this: a three bros in a card store modern and vintage pack. So they had wax boxes there. We'll save that one. They had wax boxes there for ten dollars a piece. Which come to think of it, maybe I should have picked a couple of those up. Here's ninety Fleer. We'll see if we can find anything in here. Looking for maybe the Dave Martinez era card, or maybe the George Brett era card. That's always a fun one. It's a little more common. Or maybe we'll just find a Sammy Sosa rookie card or Ken Griffey Jr. second year. There's Kirby Puckett. Two Kirby Puckets, which is interesting and weird. Two Kirby Puckets stuck together. Two Hall of Famers. We'll take it. 88 Fleer, $3 pack. That's the price tag on here. Lots of 88 in this. When it comes to the baseball cards that they gave us, a whole bunch of 88. There was Tony Gwynn, who is a Hall of Famer. R.J. Reynolds, former Pirate. Used to like him a little bit as a kid. He only played with the Pirates for maybe a season while I was following them, and he just moved on. I think, what, 89 or so? Here is the 89 score. So our first 89 sighting. 89 score. Gary Sheffield rookie card is on the back. Nice. That might be my favorite card so far that we've pulled. Harold Baines is a Hall of Famer. Get to the Sheffield. I was really disappointed that Gary Sheffield did not make the Hall of Fame. There's his rookie card. Gary Sheffield would go. He was 19 when he made his Major League debut in the big leagues. We've got a McDonald's card, another baseball three bros. We'll do the NBA fantasy pack from McDonald's. Maybe we'll find it. I don't know, Scotty Pippen, Michael Jordan. There's Otis Thorpe. You've got Alonzo Mourning and Nick Anderson. I wish that they would do this a little more often. I wish Fanatics would partner up with, say, like McDonald's or, you know, other fast food places or other businesses. You buy a, a value meal, you get a pack of cards. That would be awesome. I would be... That probably wouldn't be great for my health. I'd be stopping off at McDonald's all the time to buy a value meal and get a pack of cards. I'd probably do a video on it and buy like a whole bunch of value meals to get a whole bunch of packs and open all at once to see what's in there. But I wish they would bring that back, that concept. There's another football, a.k.a. soccer pack. They used to do it with gas stations. You'd do a fill-up, 10 gallons more. You'd get a free pack of cards like Atlantic back in the day and Sunoco, I think, did something similar. Here's our last pack. It is... A 1980, man, I thought for a second it was 87. 88 again. So many 88 packs in it. But I guess for $15, I mean, you're not going to be seeing 87 pump rack packs or anything like that. So I guess that's to be expected. Most of the packs were from 88 in terms of baseball. Did have an 89 pack here or there. 86 foot foots was nice. But we'll check these out and see what we have. Gary Carter, who's a Hall of Famer, is going to be. Our commemorative all-star card, which is pretty cool. I used to like that as rack packs. I used to like that you were able to see the cards on the front and back. I wish I would have known what I know now for card collations, though. I would have paid closer attention when I was opening my packs because you could literally just see who's on the front of a pack. And if you were kind of mapping it out as you opened your packs over time, you would know who would follow up each card because of the way the cards are cut from the sheets. They pretty much always go in the same order. So if you know who follows Kelly Gruber... You would know that Denny Walling would be next if Kelly Gruber was the face guard. Jack Morris is in there, Hall of Famer. And we've got two packs left. It's the Three Bros in a Card Store special packs. We'll check these out and see if there's anything in here of note. By the way, thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll be live with a consignment auction tonight. Hope you can check it out. Be selling lots of stuff. And also some stuff that I picked up recently at the card show the other day. I have some nice Shohei Otani cards in there, some nice Hall of Fame autos. We'll go live after the kiddos get to bed tonight. And here's the other pack. So just all commons, really. These uh, three bros in a card store packs are pretty rough. There's Ryan Sandberg, at least. That's pretty good. But primarily, they're common cards. It's a great way for a company like Three Bros to get rid of common cards when them packs like that. 
And that's why people generally kind of avoid their packs. But that box wasn't bad for $15. A fun little rip to see what packs you can find. Again, you can find those at the Orlando Sports Card Store. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening. I think I have one more video to do tonight. I've got to do number 18 on the top 40 countdown. So that'll be coming up soon. Have a fantastic evening. Check us out on our live stream auction. And I'll see you all later. Good night, everybody.